Hello, hello, and welcome to the Delaware Blogger Podcast. I'm your host, Antoinette Blake, the DE Diva, aka the Delaware Blogger. And every week I come to you with podcasting pointers that will help you to share your mission and your vision by just simply using your voice. A new episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast publishes every Saturday at 10 a.m. And if you wish to be a sponsor or a guest on the show, Out and About with Antoinette, that's the one that I interview, then send an email to me at info at ablakeenterprises.com. Now, today's episode, we're going to be talking about the power of the CTA for your podcast. That's right. Call to action. You know, podcasts are a great way to get your message out to a wide audience. Podcasts can be used to educate, entertain, and inform your listeners. But if you want to make sure that your podcast is successful, you need to include a CTA, a call to action. What's a call to action? It's simply a statement or a request that encourages your listeners to take an action. It can be as simple as asking them to subscribe to your podcast or even sharing it with their friends. A call to action is important for podcasts because it helps to keep listeners engaged and encourages them to do something, right? (laughs) It also helps to build relationships with your audience and encourages them to come back for more. And without a CTA, listeners may not even know what to do after listening to your podcast. They may forget about your podcast and move on to something else. So we're going to talk about a few examples of a good CTA. Are you ready to join the billion dollar podcasting industry? If so, Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio is ready for you. Whether you're just starting out and have no equipment or you are a seasoned pro but need help with production, Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio has everything you need. Conveniently located in Middletown, Delaware, Blake's state-of-the-art production facilities make producing your first or 100th podcast a breeze. No matter what kind of project you have in mind, the professionals at Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio can help with your production or give you the tools to produce it on your own. At the heart of Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio is award-winning blogger, vlogger, and CEO Antoinette Blake, and her goal is simple, to help one more entrepreneur be successful. So stop making excuses and start making your podcast, audiobook, e-course, and other online dreams come true. Call Blake's Booth Podcasting Studio now, 302-261-3530. That's 302-261-3530. So that CTA example, let's see. You can say things like, check out the link in the description or the show notes. Subscribe to my show. Click the notification button so that you'll be apprised every time or notified every time a new episode drops. You can ask them to comment on your website or you can ask them to visit the episode show notes if you have a separate website or blog. You know, because word of mouth is still one of the major ways that podcast gains listenerships. And that's why including a request to tell others is still the most popular CTA. And when you're creating a call to action for your podcast, it's important to make it clear and concise. You want to make sure that your listeners understand exactly what you're asking them to do. You want to make sure it's relevant to the content of your podcast. For example, if you're talking about a new product or service, you might tell your listeners to visit the website to learn more or place an order. Order. It's also important to make sure that your call to action is timely. So if you are talking about a new product, make sure that the listeners know they have to act now. You know, that FOMO, fear of missing out. You don't want them to forget about it, you know, or wait until it's too late. And finally, you want to make sure that your call to action is easy to follow. Kiss. Keep it simple, right? You don't want to make it too complicated or overwhelming. You want to make sure that the listeners can easily understand what you're asking them to do. Remember, a call to action or a CTA is an important part of any podcast. It helps to keep listeners engaged and encourages them to take action. 
It also helps to build relationships with your audience and encourages them to come back for more. So by including a call to action in your podcast, you can ensure that your message is heard and that your listeners take action. And you may be saying, well, then why? I've already told you why. Why? You should ask your listener to do something. Remember, we've been told what to do since birth. The reason why and the most important reason why a call to action is necessary is that it grows your audience. Yes. You can get your customer, I mean your customer, you can get your orders, audiences, excuse me, I'm just coming back from vacation. I'm trying to get back into the swing of thing. You guys know I was in the Bahamas for seven days. It was amazing, but that's another story for a different day. But anywho, you want to get your audience's contact information so that you can add it to your email list so that you can send a newsletter with the links to previous shows. If you're selling something, you can get your sales from there as well as endorsing a product or service. So if you have some affiliate marketing, you can include that information in your CTA. And if you fail to include a CTA, you're missing out. You're missing out big time. A large portion of podcasts are still very active because of sponsorships, e-commerce stores, affiliate links, products, services, courses. You know, people are putting this in as part of their CTA to get you or to get your listeners to take action. Now, I'm going to tell you all the time, all every day, you know, every time you hear my podcast, I'm going to say, well, you can get a copy of Podcasting Your Purpose Resource Guide, which is available by going to my blog at dellblogger.com. So head over to (laughs) dellblogger.com. That was my CTA. And I'm going to give you others as well. Some podcasters, they just simply, you know, focus on signing up for an email or directing you to the latest live event, giveaways, you know, even a review. If you like this show, please leave a review. That's a CTA. Reviews help podcasters stay on the good side of the algorithms, right? Directories, you know, Spotify, iTunes, all those. You want people to like your show. You want to increase your visibility. So one of your CTAs or one of the the things that you should always mention is asking them to leave a review. A call to action is vital. And you know what? It's not uncommon to ask. People are so used to it. So make sure that you include a CTA in all of your shows. It can be attention grabbing, but also short and sweet doesn't have to be long and complicated because if it, you know if it's too long and complicated people are going to be doing something else anyway. So, just make sure you say something like make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a review and share with your family, your friends, your bae and your boo. Download a copy of the 7 step podcast checklist. Share the show and check out my other social media platforms by using the link tree ID a Blake enterprises. And if you feel uncomfortable, like you're nagging your devoted listeners, know that you're not. You just simply asking, you know, you don't want to ask too much. You don't want to ask too long. And you just want to make sure that you ask. So people, you know, if they do that and they let you know, they left a review, here's a great tip. Shout them out, right? Tell the people that to leave your review that you will shout them out on the next episode. People love to hear their names. And they love to get that appreciation from the host. So that might be something that you want to consider. Keep in mind, people are not going to be, you know, listening to every episode, which is why you need to have a CTA in every episode, right? If every episode has a CTA that's going to be there, no one's ever going to miss it. So. Think about what you want to say and say it and how often each and every episode. I know it might sound redundant. It might sound silly, but you need to include a CTA in every single episode because you never know when a new listener may be listening to a show. And if you didn't include a CTA, then they may not know what to do next. So a podcast helps you to grow and a podcast call to action helps you grow even further. So if you're out here 
and you're on the mic and you're sharing content, perhaps you have ads and sponsorships, perhaps you have affiliates or you're marketing a product or event, make sure that you have an outro that includes your CTA. So thank you for listening to today's episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast. And if you found anything I've said of interest to you, please subscribe and share with others. You may even want to leave a rating or review and check out a few other episodes while you're here too. I invite you to subscribe to my blog, dellblogger.com, where you're going to find blogging tips, podcasting pointers, and some fabulous Friday fun stuff, as well as the links to purchase a copy of my basic blogging tips for beginners or my podcasting your purpose resource guide. And I invite you to send an email to info at ablakeenterprises.com to schedule a 15 minute complimentary discovery call. Or if you're ready to start that podcast, you can enroll in my five week podcast coaching sessions. So until the next time, this is the DE Diva, AKA the Delaware blogger wishing you and yours a beautifully blessed day. And remember, sharing is caring. So please share this episode of the Delaware Blogger Podcast. See ya.